So first they want to kill Mario, and now this? Welcome all fellow wannabes, welcome to the channel. I am Gabriel Fast, I do claim to be the wannabe critic. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. If you're an audio listener, uh, thank you for the support. Um, consider subscribing and giving, uh, you know, some some love. Giving uh, the podcast a rating, I would, really, I would really appreciate it. Today we are talking about Super Mario Party and the surprise uh, update for the game. Before we go any further, I just want to say I've only had a little bit of time with Super Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch. I understand and there was a lot of things missing, uh, you know, kind of like that classic Mario Party feel was kind of missing from, from a lot of people. And, you know, I had a good time. It was like a decent party game from what I had played of it, but it wasn't like anything to write home about, you know, whenever I played. I did purchase the game a few weeks ago whenever it went on sale for like 35 bucks or whatever, and I haven't touched the game since. But I do have to say that I am excited to return to it after this newest update, which dropped today. Um, shout out to uh, Nibillion as well on Twitter, um, or Nibel, as we you know, wh however, however you want to say it. He's always ahead of the curve just in terms of like trying to get things out, you know, news wise. He always has a, you know, he always has good reputable sources. And I usually see things from, from him first, uh, you know, before I see them from IGN or, or other places as well. But shout out to him. The write-up that I chose comes from Jordan Alaman. Alaman, I don't know how to say that. It says, Super Mario Party gets new online modes two years after release. Again, this comes from IGN. I'm going to paraphrase it, so if you want to see the entire article, you can check the description down below. But it says, here's the big deal, you know, why this is such a big deal for, for Mario Party in general. It says, previously players could only enjoy Super Mario Party's Mario Party and Partner Party modes, say that five times really fast, in offline co-op, but today's free update will modify the game so that players can host and play matches online. It's not entirely clear why the update has been added so long after release, but it's welcome news for those who fairly, who for fairly obvious reasons might not be heading to their he to their friend's house right now. Again, if you want to go check out that full write-up, it is in the description down below. But it makes the, you know, the article makes a good point. People were complaining that you couldn't play online on the Nintendo Switch, you know, with this game. And people were saying, like, you know, a lot feels missing from this game, you know, and why can't I play online and all this other stuff. Did Nintendo just add this thing in because of COVID? Because that's what it feels like to me. Which it's classic Nintendo not really giving people exactly what they want. I mean, giving, like, the niche within the niche of Nintendo fans what they want, but like not really hitting it on the head, so to speak. Why couldn't this, you know, ability have been added earlier on in this game's life cycle? Why couldn't we have played online? You know, obviously it wasn't in the plans to really make Super Mario Party a thing, uh, you know, online play a thing at least because they would have done it by now, right? I mean, am I crazy here? They would have made it to where you could have played this game online much sooner if it was always in the plans to do so. Right? I mean, I do have to say, like, I I am much more interested in trying to play this game and, like, get into this game and, like, give it, you know, a fair shake now because of the online modes, but I, I literally had only bought it because it was on sale and my wife had said that she would want to have it for whenever people came over. But as the article said, not many people are going to be coming over right now. But that's not exactly true because with the vaccine, everyone's getting a little bit more lax, you know, about, about going over to people's houses and all this other stuff. So it kind of feels like this, uh, in a way it feels, and I mean, let's be real, things aren't really going to go back to quote unquote normal for quite some time. Uh, you know, the fallout of COVID I think is, is inevitable at this point. People are going to be paranoid and I think the vast majority of people are going to be reluctant for things to be, you know, to, to go back to normal um, after such a big uh, culture shift shift and culture change, but I could be wrong. I don't know. This, this, this update does feel kind of out of place in a way, um, because it does kind of feel like we're kind of coming out of COVID a little bit. You know, I'm not saying it's, it's not bad. It still is bad, but it just feels a little, it just feels weird to release this update at this time. But you know, if you're a fan of Super Mario Party or, you know, the Mario Party games in general, this is a win for you. This is a win for me. It's a win for gamers because we're getting, you know, more updates to a game that's for, for better or worse, you know, it's basically been dead for or, you know, the past, pretty much since its launch. People didn't like this game. You know what I mean? Just out of curiosity. I am curious. What is the overall score um, on Metacritic? Hear me clacking? Super Mario Party. And look, I'm not saying that, you know, Metacritic is the whatever. I mean, you know, it, 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 I feel like that's the most 
reliable score to go off of, and I'm not saying that a score, a meta score, defines the game. I'm not saying I had a bad time with the game. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, you know, it looks like it's sitting on like a 7.1 on meta, on meta, you know, uh, on Metacritic, and I feel like that is at least in my experience for the time I've spent with the game, that is a fair representation. It's worth it's worth what I paid for it to get it on sale. But who knows? Maybe it'll be more fun once you know this update. Uh, you know, is is once people have this update in their hands and they're doing their thing and they're, they're, they're Mario partying it up. I am curious, what's your thoughts on this news? What's your thoughts on Super Mario Party? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to be trying to do more daily videos. You know, there's no promises. I always say I'm going to do stuff and then, you know, I, I, I mess up or I, I get too busy, but I don't know. I felt like I've been thinking about this news all day and I just had a couple questions I had to ask myself. So how do you feel about this news? But anyways, thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far and before I go, check this out, whatever possessed you to check out the podcast or the YouTube channel today. I just want to say thank you so much for doing so. Uh, if this is your first time here, I, I would appreciate it. You know, if you would consider subscribing. As you can tell, it's not just me here anymore. I mean, I do do stuff by myself, but the podcast is going to reside here from now on, uh, you know, in video form. So if you want to see more content, if you want to be notified, you know, every time we post something, whether it be a clip, a podcast, a review, an interview, whatever it may be, if it's gaming stuff, make sure you click that bell and hit the subscribe button and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for sticking around and thank you for preparing yourselves for a plethora of hot takes and potentially unpopular opinions. I'm Gabriel Fast. I'll always be the wannabe critic. Oh.